Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I wanted to talk to you about soil splash. Soil splash is a way for the spores of leaf, of leaf spot and blights to get onto your tomato. We just had a big storm yesterday and I just wanted to show you what happens uh, in the garden to the tomato. I talked to you about pruning the bottom leaves out and putting down disease barriers, but this is pretty much why. When it rains hard, the soil splashes up onto leaves and if you do have disease spores in there, they will splash onto your plant. They'll begin to take hold of your plant um, and then they'll infect the plant and work. Uh, the spores will kind of work their, their way up the plant until it wipes out everything. So when it comes to leaf spot and blight, the key to keeping healthy tomatoes is really prevention. You can also see on the, the uh, stake I used to uh, mark the name of the plant, how the soil has splashed all the way up the stake. And if you rub it off, you see everything's on there. The other thing is, is when soil splashes up and lands underneath your leaves uh, of your tomato, it will um, harm the tomato. Uh, lots of plants breathe through uh, the bottom of their leaves. You can also see the soil splashed up on the stem. So what you would do is prune out these bottom leaves, this ox heart is big enough to take some pruning, and you would put a disease barrier down. Let me show you a few more tomatoes and what I mean. We'll come over to one I've been shooting different videos on, and you can see this black crim has very little soil on the leaves, and that's because we have a newspaper barrier and a sand barrier. And this will get pruned a little bit more, and I'll make sure I maintain a barrier down there. Let's see, and tomatoes that are in these containers, again, you don't see any soil splash really on there because they are mulched and in containers. If you come around to the tomatoes I haven't done much yet with, you can see on the underside the soil splash, and that's how the spores will be spread and you can see it over here. And this is the exact reason why you bottom prune your tomatoes and why you put down grass clippings or mulch or newspaper or any combination of things. You can see it in these tomatoes too. And finally, here's another example. Oh, the Neighbor's kids are getting yelled at. This is my uh, disease barrier raised bed that has a plastic sheet under there with holes in it and mulch. And you can see there's no soil splash. Um, but I will come back and bottom prune these tomatoes too for air circulation. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.